Greetings! In this episode, I'm going to show you the basics of how to do a Google site. And Google sites are really useful for having um, assignments or information available about your classroom. So I'm just going to show you the basics of how to do a Google site. So the first thing we're going to do, obviously, is be in Google. And if you click and make sure you're logged in, and if you click on the waffle, you'll see that Google Sites is one of the options you can choose. So I'm going to choose that. And then it opens up here and there's different types of Google sites I can create. I can, here's just some templates. Um, here's for a class, a club, student portfolio. And again, this is another great way for your students to even create their own Google site as an assignment as well. So, but for the sake of just showing you, I'm going to do just a blank one. And here is my blank Google site. And so first thing I can do is um, I can call it and I'm going to give it a name. And after I give it a name, I can, there's all sorts of different stuff I can do. I can change the image of the header. I can upload a picture or I can select an image. Um, and I'll just select a, select a preset um, header for this. Let's go with um, this ocean one's pretty cool. Select that. And I can also uh, choose from a, a URL, upload an album, and use a Google Drive as well. So now here is the header for my Google site, and I can even choose which type of layout I want to do. I can do something that has a picture with a header and text, multiple pictures. I'll go ahead and pick this one here. And then now what I, what I can do is I can start plugging in images of whatever it is I want this to be. Let's say, um, Let's say I want to do an image search. I can do a Google image search and I could search, let's say for, um, this would be a website about fish. And here's all sorts of images I can use. Um, I will pick this one here, insert, and then I can give this a text, we'll say, um, information about fish and I can add text click here to learn more and I can do the same for these two as well let's say information all right so now that I have uh, in for information on my page um, so I just have you know my images here I can start creating more pages if I want to so way I can do that is click on pages and right now I have a home page and I can at the very bottom I can add another page to it so we'll call this um, information about fish. And so now here's my brand new page and I can start doing the exact same thing. I can insert a preset layout or I can start inserting um, different types of, I can put in a map, I can put in a YouTube video. Let's say I wanted to use a YouTube video that has information about fish. So I would click on, let's say, uh, clownfish. How to care for clownfish in an aquarium, select that. And there we go, now this is automatically into my Google site. I can add more information into it, I can add text. Um, information about clown fish in this video you will learn how to care about clownfish and once I have this in here um, I can even move it around on my site as you can see it has these boxes this has 
clickable or text that opens up and I can even start moving this around. If I want to move this to the next section, I can do that. I can move this back up to that section and then or I can. So this is a set bar here. You can see the zigzag line there and then I can even duplicate it or I can even change the background of it. Let's say I wanted to pick something um, that was like a blue there. Um, I can even do that. And then you can also choose the themes of your pages. So these are preset themes that Google has. Right now we did the, the simple one. Here's Aristotle. Here's Diplomat. And then we just kind of kept it on, on the simple one here. So after you make a page, what you're going to want to do is um, you have all your pages here. And then you can insert the content that you want to document, slide, Google Sheets, forms, charts, all sorts of things that you can really start adding to your Google pages. But now what I want to do is I want to connect this page to my home page. So I'm going to click on pages, go back to home. And here I said click here to learn more. Well, now I can even adjust this. Let's say I want to make it bold. I can do that. I can make it italic, I can center it, I can move it to the right, I can move it to the left, I'm going to keep it on center, I can make it a bullet number, but what I want to do is I want to link this to my other page. So I'm going to click on the link button and it is going to bring up a list of my pages. I'm going to click on that page there and click apply. Okay, so if I want to navigate back to my other page, I would stay on my pages and then go ahead and click on that and it opens up there. Now let's say I want to insert a link uh, that goes to some sort of document or something, right? So what I would do is I would insert um, a button and I would say um, this is a um, information about fish and I'll go ahead and Google something really fast information about clownfish and then here is the Wikipedia page I'm going to copy that and if I go back to my Google site put that link in I'm going to paste it and then click insert now whenever anybody clicks on this list clicks on this it will take them to that website so once you start adding all of this, the doc, all of your information, the content here of your page, as you can see, it's kind of here in the um, in the site name, and you can even insert, you know, that's the name of my website. Um, you can I can add a logo to it, and it's just really easy. Let's say I wanted to add a divider between these two. I would click on the divider. I can move this up. So there's a divider between them. And the most important thing you want to do is you want to preview what your website looks like before you publish it. So um, what I'm going to do is click on this preview here. It's going to open up. Now I get a chance to see what my website actually looks like before I um, start presenting it. So I can see what it's going to look like on a phone. I can see what it was going to look like on a tablet. And I can see what it looks like on a computer. And it functions just like my website would function. Go to the home, I can click here. It takes me to my All About Fish page. Go back to home. And so, um, so this is a great way for me to test my Google site. So the last thing I wanna do is I wanna publish my website. And the way I do that is I click on publish. Web address right now is, because I made it all about fish, the web address right now is all about fish. And I click on publish. And so now, now let's say that you have you have your site complete. You've got all you've got your pages that are all developed in here. You've set your theme. Now what you want to do obviously is you want to share this with with the public. You can either put it in your Google Classroom or you can put it um, some, on a website. And the way you do that is you click the copy published published site link, and you're going to copy that link. And then that link is what will you will send to people so that they could see the website. Or if you are working with your school district and you want to put your Google site like on your teacher page, that is the link that you would give your IT department and they can make that link your um, 
on your page so that others can access your Google site. And then what's nice about it is let's say you wanted to make some changes to it. So I'll go ahead and go to uh, make another page. We'll say um, So I've made another page here. I'm going to insert content into it. For this one, I'll just insert another picture. I'll add, um, I'm gonna select an image from Google Image Search. Uh, we'll go ahead and pick, um, this one's pretty cool. And then now, again, if I look at preview, I can kind of see what this page is gonna actually look like. And I'm going to go ahead and close that. And now if I publish it this time, if I click publish, it's going to show me that this is the draft. Um, this is what's currently published. This did not exist before I published it. And so now if I click publish it, it's going to show the updated version. So now the updated version is published. And again, if I want to share this link, I just click on the link icon up there, copy the link, and that is going to actually take them to this page. So what I want to do is go back to my home page if I want to share this. So I go here, share this link, copy the link, and now that is what I will put into, uh, again, Google, Google Classroom or send to my students. And, and that is how they will be able to share that information there. And that's it. So hopefully this information was useful on how to make a Google site. And don't forget to check out our other great content on how to do things that we have, including how to upload YouTube videos, how to do closed caption on YouTube videos, how to use Google images and how to set up a Zoom meeting. So again, hopefully in all this distance teaching that we're doing, these are some useful resources. And if you have any ideas or any questions, please feel free to contact us at CT Teach, and we'll see you again next time.